Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart a 6-volt a lantern battery, like this one, for useful chemicals, such as manganese dioxide, carbon electrodes, and zinc metal. The first step is to acquire a 6-volt lantern battery. And not all batteries are the right type for this, so the battery should say on it, heavy duty, super heavy duty, or something along those lines. Now, you have to pop open the battery, and inside the plastic case you'll find four of these F-cell batteries. They're kind of useless, unless you want to take them apart. So, first a word of warning. Inside, these batteries have manganese dioxide, which is a black compound that stains everything, including your skin and your tools. I have some old tools that I use for taking apart batteries because I don't care about them. Now, in order to take apart the battery, the first thing you're going to have to do is put on safety glasses. And then you have to pop off the black seal with a screwdriver. And there you go. It's off. Get rid of it. And inside you'll find the little black cap, which is also on top. This is the top of the zinc electrode. You have to grab a pair of pliers and pull it out. The metal cap isn't a problem since it comes off easily. And then there's your carbon electrode. The metal cap comes off very easily. if you have a r the right pairs of pliers for doing this, which I don't, so I'll do that later. Now inside there's another plastic cap, which is not as easy to get out as the first one. It's a little bit thicker. And there it goes. Throw that out too. Inside you'll find a whole bunch of brown paper throughout the battery, mostly lining the walls. Now that you open the battery, you have to speed up your work. This flask is dirty because I used it to take apart a battery already today. Now I'll just start using a screwdriver and start scraping out all of the chemicals inside the battery. Inside there is a black paste of zinc chloride, manganese dioxide, or ammonium chloride. The main part is the manganese dioxide. There's also carbon powder mixed in with here, which is kind of impossible to separate. There's more of the paper. Throw that out. The battery may start heating up during this part, because you're removing the paper which is keeping the battery from shorting itself out. And once you do that, it, start, it may start to heat up, so just work faster from there. And just keep on grinding out all of the chemicals. There's more paper. Yeah, I can feel it starting to heat up now. Gonna have to work faster. These batteries contain decently impure manganese dioxide. And since manganese dioxide is basically insoluble in everything, there is not really any good way to purify it, besides reacting it with something. 
Manganese dioxide can also be used for thermites, and there's another piece of paper. The bottom liner is what it looks like. Yeah. Now that's all the chemicals that's inside of it. Now it's just an empty zinc canister. Save the metal. Just use a pair of scissors and cut it down the side so that it opens up. And then it's a useful zinc sheet. You can melt it, react it with HCl, or other reactions. Now, since the zinc metal is pretty hot, I'm going to submerge it in a beaker of water, cool it off. But do not leave it in the water for too long or else it will start to oxidize. So I'm going to pull it out as soon as it cools down. And here is the manganese dioxide. This is really impure. It needs to be purified. So I'm going to do that step now too. In order to purify it to reasonable purity, add a large amount of water to it. This will dissolve all of the insoluble contaminants from the manganese, and it'll make a manganese dioxide soup, if you will. Start a lot, and once you start enough, filter the slurry. All the manganese dioxide will collect on the filter along with some carbon powder. This really isn't much of a problem since carbon doesn't react with that much. Okay, all of the chemicals have to be dissolved out of it, and now get ready to filter it. I'm pouring this into a coffee filter, which I've done this before with, so that's why the there's already water in the bottom. Doesn't really matter. A little overflow. But it's starting to turn brown or black from small amounts of manganese that's getting through. And also because I didn't wash the filter from the last filtration I did with another one of those battery cells. So, just let that run and collect the paste. Oops. It splashed everywhere. Now once you have the paste, you can either heat it up on a hot plate to dry all the water out of it, or you can just let it evaporate, put it out in the sun. Either way works fine. And let that filter. Now I'm going to show you what I got from another battery. Another battery, I got this. I got one three and a quarter inch carbon electrode. And then you can times all of this by four for one lantern battery, even though it may vary by different brands of batteries. It's three and a quarter by about a quarter inch, and it weighs about eight grams. Then I got a zinc metal sheet. It's about four inches by three inches. You can cut it, make electrodes, melt it, whatever. It weighs about 15 grams. And the manganese dioxide. It weighs about 45 grams per battery cell. So in the end, you can get quite a lot of chemicals from all of these. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you the filtration one more time. It's making a soup. It's getting thicker as the water goes through. Manganese dioxide is relatively inert. 
and won't pose any serious health problems unless a lot of it is ingested. So, thank you for watching.